Today's exercises are gonna be surrounding the neck. We're gonna work on strengthening it, giving it some endurance, and helping you protect yourself to take those big shots you might happen to take in sparring or in your fights. When it comes to martial arts training, it's really important that we work our body armor. So we condition our bodies to be able to take shots when it comes to your fights. So a lot of times we see people hitting each other to work the body conditioning, taking low kicks so you strengthen your legs. But you also got to look at different areas that might be overlooked. For example, forearms or conditioning the hands, but especially the neck. You want to be able to strengthen your neck to be able to take shots and not have your neck always spin around. Doesn't look good for the judges, as well as not good for your brain to be rattling so much. Okay, so these exercises are to help you brace yourself when those big shots come. It's gonna give you strengthening from the front and the side so you're able to take the shots from all different angles. Okay. Today we're going to work on three different exercises for our necks. Remember, these are more beginner to intermediate style neck drills. Okay, since we're at home, what we're going to do is we're going to use the floor because it's the most simple. And what we're going to do is laying on our back, we're going to get our chin to our sternum for exercise one. Okay, and everyone's neck conditioning is different. So go until you feel a nice strong burn. Okay. And then at that point, once you feel it, you'll go to exercise two, which is getting my ear to my shoulder. Okay, back and forth. And what I'm trying to do is count the same number for each exercise. Okay. Now the third exercise we're gonna work on is more that rotation. Trying to strengthen your neck to take hooks. Okay, shaking it off. And you're gonna notice just the whole process of keeping your head up off the ground is enough to feel the good burn in your neck. So for those who are looking for more an advanced option for these same exercises, you can just lean off of, of some sort of bench, chair, and most people like to use the ring. Okay, same exercises, this time you get a little bit more stretch in your neck. Especially when it comes to the first exercise of getting my chin to my chest. Three simple ways that you can work your neck. Very simple, but so effective. Okay, the last thing you want is to be in your fight, take a little jab and have your neck snap back like that. Doesn't look good, doesn't feel good, okay? So these three simple exercises will help you from all different angles. Whether you're bracing yourself to take a straight punch or if there's a nice hook coming and you have to be able to tighten up that neck muscle to avoid your neck from turning that's all gonna benefit you, especially when it comes to the judges. That's the last thing you want the judges to see is your head snap, that causes damage. A lot in amateur fighting, especially here in Canada, as soon as your head snaps back, that's an automatic count, that's an automatic knockdown, so those are the types of shots you wanna avoid. So building that body armor is really important, and as you can guess, as the exercises and the quarantine goes on, I'll give you more tricks and different tools you can use to toughen all the different muscles and bones that you want nice and strong.